my second grade, I'm excited to do some measurement with you today. So in the fall, we measured using centimeter rulers, centimeter cubes, our pinkies. Now I have my ruler and I'm looking at my inches side. And I also have a paper clip with me ready to go for today. So let's go ahead and get started. Second grade math measurement with inches. Today, I want you to be able to say, I can measure objects in standard units, which are inches. I and I can use measurement to add and subtract. So first, units of measurement. Standard and metric units of measurement are two different units of measurement that are used in our world today. So standard units are inches, feet, yards, and miles. And when we do standard, we look at this side of our ruler. This is the inches side of our ruler. Standard units of measure are used in the United States. The other unit of measure is metric. That is millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. And we look at this side of our ruler when we are doing the metric system. And metric measurement is used in most of the rest of the world. So we are focusing on standard this spring because we focused on metric this fall. It is important to know both as a member of our world. So in standard measurement, we have inches, which are the smallest units. And then we have a foot, which are, is the next biggest unit. And then we have yards and we also have miles. A foot, one foot equals 12 inches. And you know 12 inches is a ruler. A yard equals three feet. So three rulers and three feet equals 36 inches. And this tool right here is a yardstick. Now let's talk about some tools to measure. Not all of you may have a ruler at home. So to measure inches, you can use a paper clip like I showed you when this video first started. It needs to be a small, normal paper clip, not one of those jumbo paper clips, but a paper clip is just about an inch long. You can make your own ruler with a paper clip if you don't have a ruler at home. So you will need a paper clip and a strip of paper. So I have my strip of paper here and my paper clip. I laid the paper clip starting at the edge and then I put a line at the end and then I picked up my paper clip and I kept the back side lined up with this line and drew a new line and then I did that again and then I added numbers. So if I were to go measure something, I could measure if it's an inch, two, three inches, as big as I want to make my own ruler. Even if you have a ruler, you can use um, a paper clip to make your own ruler for fun as an activity this week if you would like. You also could use a hammer. Most standard hammers are about a foot long. So if you wanna measure something and see if it's about a foot long, you could grab a hammer with the help of mom and dad. Make sure it's okay with them before you grab the hammer. Okay, you also, if you have a ruler, that's great. Maybe you have a yardstick. A yardstick is still showing you inches and you know that 12 inches is one foot. 24 inches would be two feet and 36 is three. You also could use a tape measure. Tape measures have both metric and standard units of measure on them. Now let's talk about how to measure. Hmm, I've got my pencil lined up to my ruler here and I think it looks pretty good. Nope. It is not. We do not want any part of what we're measuring to be hanging off of the ruler because we're not measuring that part of the object then. Hmm, this looks pretty good. I started at the one and that's where we start. Nope, we do not want to start at one. Second graders, when you're born, you're not one right away. You have to live for a whole year before you turn one. 
when something grows, it starts at zero first, and then it grows to be an inch and two inches and three inches. So we need to make sure that when we're measuring, we are lining up that object with the front of our ruler, that first line. There we go, we've got it. Okay, so I have this measured up to the first line, and then how to measure, I have to look at where the end lines up. And I see that this pencil is right at five inches long. How long is this crayon? Go ahead and take a look. I saw that this crayon, I lined it up at the front and measured it all the way to the back is four inches long. Now let's compare some measurements. I have, which object is longer, the crayon or the pencil? My pencil is five inches, my crayon is four inches. So which one is longer? Well, I know my pencil is longer because it's five inches and five is bigger than four. How much longer? Well, five minus four is one. So the pencil is longer and it is one inch longer. Now, what about half measurements? Sometimes when I'm measuring, things don't line up right on the line of a number. So let's take a look at this marker. Sometimes a measurement doesn't end up on an even inch. Where do you see this lined up at? Hmm. Now, when I look at my ruler here, you can see that there's these little dashes in between the inches. So we have one inch here, two inches here, three inches here. The longest line in between the two and the three is the half inch. It counts for half of an inch, kind of how you celebrate your half birthday halfway through the year. So when I look at this marker, I see that it's at five and a half inches. Now, sometimes a measurement doesn't even line up at the half inch. You can see this pen here doesn't quite get to our five. Second graders, what I want you to do is to ask yourself, is it closest to five inches? or is it closest to six inches? What do you think? Is this closer to five inches or six inches? I think that pen is closer to five inches and that would be correct. Now, what if it's closer to the six? As you can see here, we're not at a half. So this is closer to six inches. So my pen is about six inches long. The older you get with measurements and the better you get with measurements, you can start to measure more specifically and talk about quarters and eighths of an inch. But for this year, we're just going to do whole inches and half inches. Now, let's take a look at some story problems. I don't know about you, but we have been building some things over these few weeks where we've been stuck at home. And when you build things, you have to be able to measure. You also have to be able to measure when you grow. We are working on planting a garden. And that is what our story problem is about today. So Zoe and Colton measured how high their sunflowers have grew. Zoe's flower was 36 inches tall. Colton's flower was 28 inches tall. Whose flower was taller and how much taller? So when we look at story problems, first we have to find the important numbers that we're working with. I know that I needed to know that Zoe's flower is 36 inches and Colton's flower was 28 inches. That is the important information. Then I have to ask, what question is the problem asking me? The first question this problem asked me is whose flower was taller? And I know Zoe's flower is taller because I know that 36 is bigger than 28. The next question this problem asked me is how much taller? So now I have to figure out how much taller is 36 than 28? Because I know I have to find the difference between the two numbers, not the total together. I know I have to subtract 36 minus 28, and I got 8 inches 
I can't wait to see what you measure this week, what story problems you can answer second grade, and if you can make your own rulers with paper clips. I can't wait to see all that you do.